and we're on. We're on. Ah, nice to see a game that wasn't released in Japan. I'm watching a bunch of stupid YouTube videos about games that weren't released in America. Seems like a lot of time the reason is something retarded, like, oh, Americans wouldn't like a game about Japanese stuff. Nope. Americans have zero interest in any history other than their own. Ah, shit, there was probably a cutscene that we were supposed to watch. That's right, the volume in this game is loud as shit. I'm sorry, guys. Audio. Is it better? I hope so. Now I just realized basically half of the screen right now is not going to be occupied by a shit. Come on, let's, let's make this fucking face cam bigger. Whatever. I'll just leave that there. Which also means that I'll be playing this game without any music because. Fucking being trapped with this android. Kind of getting irritating. Come on. I don't even know why I'm trying to play this game. It's, it's not even remotely my style. like one of these adventure-y, puzzle-y type things. Come on, let's go over there. Damn it, I want to go into the jungle. Okay, let's go up here. Ooh. When I did my little test run, I didn't find this. This is kind of neat, I guess. I'm finding something interesting. Oh, fuck going out there. I'm going to see what this is. You just walk into a fucking portal? Ooh. Looks like a pool of water. Maybe I can wash my hands. Horse and dogs barking now. Finally get fucking time for peace. Come on. I can touch it or something, right? Oh, that did something. Cool, now I can play checkers. Or something. Do these blue buttons do stuff? They don't seem to do anything. And that changes it back to water then. Hmm. Let's change it into the whatever the hell. Ooh. Damn it. Why am I enjoying this? I probably should. I should have expected that a game primarily about things like exploration would intrigue me. The problem is, nope, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so obviously if I can look at this screen, there's something on it I can interact with, right? I hope this is playable without sound. I, I bet you there's one fucking puzzle. Where I like absolutely need sound and I'm gonna get stuck on it and super pissed off and quit. Can I close this door? I don't see a button for it. Let's remember that that's there. 
Can I go to that? That thing right there looks kind of cool. I like that I actually have like a cursor I can indicate with. I am finding the navigation a bit annoying though. I'm betting it was better in like the PC because this is like a PlayStation thing. Okay, I've, ar I've already been here and I did my little test. These things do nothing at all. Might as well put it in the position it wasn't in. Ooh. Nice view, I guess. Like, that does look kind of nice. You know, considering. You know, someone somewhere made like a Ultra HD Remaster Reboot Turbo Edition. Okay, here's a piece of paper. But yeah, I figured out how to do a face cam. It's just that it's right in the way of where my thumb needs to go in order to do anything. And the lighting in here is pretty terrible. Maybe I should see if I can fix that. There's two light switches because this is a bathroom. Yeah, we'll sit in the bathtub. That's probably got better acoustics. Well, now you can't even see my face at all. Catherine, I've left you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, I don't know what marker switches are. I don't know what an island is. Fuck, uh-huh. Basically, everything on this piece of paper is useless. And I can't even pick it up. What, I don't have, like, a fucking inventory? So I'm gonna have to walk all the way back here to find that fucking hint when I inevitably forget what it does. I just want to flick the switch. You're going to make me walk up to it to see that there is a switch here, aren't you? Oh, there's a door. Oh, look at that shadow. Do you see that? There's a shadow, and it switches from one side to the other, which suggests that there's like an omnidimensional light source instead of one directly above. I don't even remember what way it was originally. Whatever. Right, I've been in this room. It's a little bit ridiculous. I might as well see if I can activate anything other than the chair. Like, what's the point of this screen? Is it just showing me that I'm approaching the chair? You take three steps towards the thing, and I'm going to make you press a button for every step. And pull the hood thing down. This sucks without sound, doesn't it? I'm like missing all kinds of important stuff. It's like a time machine, I'm guessing. So we're gonna go to April. Oh. It's, it's, it doesn't say April, it says APA. Let's go to April 12th. I guess. Let's pick a year. The game was released in 96, right? Oh, come on. Come on, give me the thing. I 
I guess we're going to be here for a while. Surely I can grab this one. I can grab the other two. No, the one that has the most numbers to it, I can't grab hold of and just drag around. It was really important that I be able to grab and drag around the one that, you know, went from 1 through 12, or January through, what's the last month of the year? From January through December. Jeez, I'm having a bad time. But, uh, holy shit, there's a lot of space in here. Like, I'm to 1,300, and I'm not even a quarter of the way through. Kind of regretting having decided I was going to fuck with this thing. Because I know it's not going to do anything. Um, I'll need some super specific ridiculous information that's impossible to find until I, like, solve puzzles. No, not 2003. 96. At midnight? No. It'd be like... Whoa, what the fuck, dude? I didn't push that. That's the game having a glitch. Or rather, my controller. It's like 8.25, I'd say. No, not quite 8.25. It's, it's a little bit late. You know, you're not going to get fired because of it. Somebody might be a little bit annoyed, but really you're not that guy who's always late. And it's only three minutes. You're like, yeah, sorry, I freaking did something moderately stupid. I couldn't find your office. Well, that does precisely nothing. Huh. Can't say I'm surprised. I assume it's a time travel machine. Because why else would it have games? And other than the little bit that I played it, I haven't really seen much about it. Close the door. Maybe that'll make the time machine work better. Oh. What? Holy shit, it's like a... St um... Oh man, I'm such a retard. Uh... Planetarium. They used to have one of these. We used to get, like, school field trips there all the time. And it just really kind of irritated me on a personal level. So whatever is on here must reveal some of the stars that are on the ceiling. Does this mean I'm going to have to do, like, a star puzzle? Because that'd be kind of cool. I'm actually kind of into that, okay. Push a button, turn the lights back on. Might as well leave everything how I found it, right? And I want to go towards those things. Yeah, these look interesting. Can I push that button? If it is a button. Oh, look, it's a uh, dinosaur. There's a dinosaur there. Ooh, what's in this pool of water? Oh, it's a model of the ship that's all sank. I didn't know that that was a ship that was all sank at the starting area. But from this, now I do. That's cool. So maybe I can, like, lift the ship up, find some rope, and get the fuck out of here. I'd have to be able to navigate, which must be what the star map's for. Ooh, another lever. Yeah, not this.
Yeah, okay. So that's three of those levers I found. A leaf. So we've got a dinosaur and a leaf. Is this still the dinosaur? Oh no, it's a plus sign. So a dinosaur plus a leaf. Okay, so we've got a dinosaur, a plus sign, and a leaf. And those must be used to solve some kind of puzzle with this stuff, which is... This is probably boring as hell. <laughs> An eyeball. Okay, that's spoopy. Turn. What the fuck is that? So there's an eyeball, a dinosaur, a plus, and a maple leaf. An anchor. I'm pushing that button. Oh, I can make certain things green and certain things red. Is this the one I missed? No. Watch me click on this stupid freaking thing a third time. Oh. Huh. I do have to say, I kind of like the landscape and stuff here. Very impressive. Okay, that's the eye. Which must mean this one right here is the other one. I'm betting pushing these raises the model chip. Okay, let's make all the animals green. Or maybe all the living things green. Okay, so the snake is green. The dinosaur is green. And the maple leaf is green. By the way, this is basically how I play a puzzle game, is just kind of try to RDM puzzles before I ever look for hints. Which I'm sure is annoying and useless here. Oh, I didn't see the arrow. Well, I'm not looking for you, arrow. I'm looking for maple leaf. Ah, fuck it. Let's go in here. I might as well explore the island, create an internal map. Because I'm fucking 20 minutes in and I haven't done shit. Oh, missed a lever. Ooh, this building looks neat. From what I recall from, you know, things I've heard, this isn't a game with, like, combat and shit. Damn, this is a long stairway. Must be like horrible shit down here. I don't think I should have done that. Yeah, no. That's a bad room. Any room with lights like that is bad.
Fuck that room. We're not going in there. I mean, I'm sure that nothing's gonna kill me, but I'm also sure that it's... Oh. <laughs> For a second I thought blood was dripping down the door, like, whoa. But it's just trees. They must be redwoods. Let's pull this lever. Is it lever or lever? I guess it depends on who you want to piss off. Let's go over here. So right now, according to this clock, it's midnight. The wind is blowing in a that way direction. And there's some thingies here that I can do stuff with. Let's see. Let's look at this thing. Okay, so there's a button, Twin push does nothing, oh, I can adjust the clock, so this is the hours hand, this is the minutes hand, so what I'm going to do is make it 825. Or 828, sorry. More? Nope. This is going to take a while. Oh, damn it, PlayStation. give me a loading screen that time. I can't walk across water. So obviously in this game I do not play as Jesus. Ooh, this way. Alright, I guess down into the door of death, doom, and destruction. Basically, I've got a little puzzle space to explore. And in this puzzle space, I'm expected to find and piece together bits of information that the game's going to hide from me. And using these pieces of information, I will change the environment which I have been observing. And by changing, the environment that I've been observing, I should be able to traverse to new puzzles which will further change the environment. Okay, there's buttons here. That button makes both those go 8. That makes them both go 10, which means I should expect this bottom one to make it go 2. Right? Five, okay. Sixteen, eight, seven. One. Two. Twenty-two. Nineteen, 
Um, okay, so I can activate more than one button. Push all the buttons. What? Okay, so that overrides something. I did something there. Now the other side isn't changing. Hmm. Let's go with the original plan and just push all hundred buttons. Seven, five, ninety, ninety-nine. Uh, nothing. What the hell is this? Power, power to spaceship generator switches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I take this thing off the wall? Dogs, they're always so helpful. It's kind of hard to keep the camera pointed at yourself when every time you like move to do something, break it. Okay, so there's a fucking spaceship in here. Apparently I broke it. So I'm just gonna turn that again. Leave the power at 38. So I have a spaceship. Obviously, I can't do shit with it. So a spaceship, a sunken ship. Oh, those trees are still spooking me out. Okay, so nothing bad happened in there. Nope, that's not where I want to go. I've already figured out that that puzzle over there is some impenetrable mess. Now, what would I do? Anchor, an arrow, dinosaur, an arrow, a cross, and an eyeball. How would I even tell if a puzzle was solved? Is there going to be like a big rumble? Is the game going to be like all quiet and subtle and shit? Okay, I 
already turned that one green. Well, that must be all I can do here. That is a snake, right? I thought I was going to solve at least one puzzle, because there's always one puzzle on these things. It's like really easy. Apparently not. Oh, did I not go in here? What's this? It's taken me four steps to walk up to it, so it must be important. Uh, book. Alright, it's pretty fucked. What about this book? This book looks in good condition. It's been a while since I've heard only silence, but I enjoy it greatly. I think. For some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful. But I think I have yet to write a journal in an age that I have linked to that is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing. Yet the water's blue can see, be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking. And yet, that strange feeling again. Perhaps it's the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Hotter than I would have imagined. It almost singes my skin, and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have had to return home due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky, and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a mist linking book with me when I return, in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the middle of this horrible desolation. The hot wind I remember is returned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake in a circular shape and jutting rock that grooves out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like a desert, 
although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears, and I have found where a few of them seem to originate. Fucking Christ, I knew I needed sound. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dripped my head into a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes has returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flame shooting up from the earth. Suddenly the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was too far wide to cross. Then the tumult dis subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Oh, Christ, there's more. Even as the chasm is ripped into the surface of the world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created, and now explore deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground chasm than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Sirius and Alcanar to make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials. However, it seems I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set, and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions. Oh. What's this book? Fucked. Okay. What about this one? Ugh. Let's see how long it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I saw two sons, enemy, oh, this is like that uh, clock tower, it's all rotating. Oh, dude, is that, that's, uh, the Muslim thing, right? I don't know. I don't know much about the Muslim religion. Another book's called the Quran. So yeah, this, this isn't getting read right now. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, I'll tell you what. We'll read one in the next episode, but let's finish exploring this space. Because I think with this, I will have explored pretty much everything I can right now, right? No, fuck that. I'm not reading another book. So what's this? Damn it. I guess it's just a painting? Like, an eye candy thing? Hmm. What's this? Oh, dude, is it like an underground passageway? Oh. It's more shit. Okay, this is a different room, right? Books in here are different. This book is red. 
And I'm looking, yeah, the room was blue. So I'm in a whole different room, which would mean that the books are different, right? Oh. The fuck? Huh. I guess the bookcase doesn't mean anything. Must just be like lore stuff. Uh, I hope you guys are really liking that shot of my sexy, sexy gear. I'll see about improving the lighting in between. Fucking four passageways. Okay, so this place is fucking huge. I gotta admit, I kinda like how detailed their textures and stuff are. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to see that. Library. What the hell? Surely there's other places to go here but the library. I guess maybe I have to find other buttons. Yeah, that must be it. Nope, turn around. I saw a branching pathway. This way. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just insane. Oh shit, is this a map? Oh, thank you. Let's let's get a look at this and then we'll end it. Because 45 minutes seems good to me. Okay, so let's check it out. Tower rotation. Huh? Okay, so apparently I rotated the tower. Aren't you impressed? I don't care about that. Okay. So this right here must be the pillars. There's eight of them in total. So that must mean I missed one. And somebody's probably already like you blind fuck. This tower be rotated. Oh. Okay. I want it to point at the other tower because I saw it go red. No, a little bit more. Damn it. It's so hard to fine tune this shit. Just a tiny bit more, okay? Yeah, okay. Can I click on this one? Huh. Alright, so... Where am I? What is this? The dock? This here is the model of the sunken ship. These are the little dot statue things. This is the spaceship hangar. And this is the room with the massive chair. Okay. Well, this is intriguing me. I'm going to keep playing it. You know what? I'll say we'll open the next episode. This red book. Okay, so I can pick up this piece of paper. Uh, what the fuck is this? Alright, we're putting that down. 
All right. That is all. Goodbye.